All right, what's going on, everybody? So this is the Dark Souls 3 fourth boss. I believe it's the fourth boss I'm up to, right? Um, the Crystal Sage. And based on its name, you could already guess it's a spellcaster uh, projectile type boss. Uh, for the record, just for the record, another boss I beat on the first try. So that's three out of fourth bosses I beat on the first try so far. Um, so, yeah kind of kicking ass out here in these Dark Souls streets. I know everybody t is telling me that it's going to get harder, and I believe that, but I'm going to see, you know, I'm going to see how many bosses I can keep, you know, beat on the first try, right? If I can, uh, like, you know, have, if I can beat mo at least half of the bosses on the first try, I think that's a good record. I think, you know, the 500 club ain't bad for, for a game like this. Um, but yeah, pretty much the Crystal Mage, uh, shoots projectile at you after you hit it a few times you only get a, a small window to hit it and then it teleport it disapp disappears teleports and creates uh, clones of itself that also that are not only a distraction but they also shoot projectiles at you also so they're a distraction they shoot projectiles um, you can kill you can kill the the copies but they don't actually inflict damage you have to you know hit the original to inflict damage so that can definitely make it difficult but luckily enough i guess this mage i was completely ignoring the one behind me this the one behind me had fucking like clone trooper aim or some shit i don't know what it was aiming at i just kept on rolling ironically it hit me when i ran across the map though um so the good thing about it is when you hit the the clones once then they disappear right so that's kind of the easy part you don't have to you know it's not like the clones have um, the same type of health as the boss, obviously. So you hit them once, they disappear. One thing I didn't really, I didn't really understand why every time the crystal mage disappeared uh, and reappeared, these crystals formed. I was like, I don't know if they, if they're there to like be an obstacle or getting your, get in your way. Um, I thought maybe they inflict damage or disappear or, or I mean, explode when you get near them. But they didn't really seem to do anything. I'm like, is that is just, just for cosmetic purposes? You just you want to live up to your name, Crystal Mages? Crystal Mage? The crystals didn't really seem to do anything. They didn't really block my way or anything like that. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, you can pretty much kind of dodge all of these projectiles pretty easily. You know, stand in the way, stand in front of one of these pillars, or just keep dodging left and right. And uh, yeah, right, I got up to right here. Just needed to... Um, just needed to hit it one more time. Most of the time, the the real crystal mage always was at the farthest point. It was either far, you know, farthest at the top or farthest at the bottom, I think, or farthest to the left. It was never like in the kind of in the middle where the others were. So you kind of figured that out, and it was getting a little bit predictable. So yeah, and that is the crystal meth. Whoa, crystal mage boss, crystal meth boss. Then that that would be a crazy ass boss to fight. And ironically, it's 420, but I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. I don't do none of that. That was just a, you know, a word slip. But yeah, I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.